Atma refugee camp, Syria, 2012. Foreign fighters, many from Britain, based themselves in houses nearby. The man we now know as Jihadi John was here too. The Britons posted snaps of what they called their five-star jihad. A Turkish fighter told us he remembers meeting Mohammed Amwazi. His words are spoken by an actor. He was cold. He didn't talk much. He wouldn't join us in prayer. He'd only pray with his friends. The other British brothers would say hi when they saw us on the road, but he turned his face away. The British fighters were always hanging out together, but he wouldn't join them. He came to Syria as Mohammed Mwazi, cold, aloof, a loner. If that description is accurate, it certainly fits the man he became. How did Jihadi John change from being an ordinary fighter to being the Islamic State's executioner? ISIS have professional psychologists. They know who to choose from the fighters and how to make them famous. Still, there was nothing special about Jihadi John. Anyone could have become like him. The emirs give the orders, and in return, you get promoted. Many brothers joined ISIS for new weapons, luxury guns, to drive better jeeps, and to show off. Our informant says he left ISIS after being ordered to murder women and children. I asked him what his former comrades thought of Mohammed Mwazi. Some love him. Some joined ISIS after watching and admiring him. They take him as an example. ISIS play him like a piano, a celebrity to attract our Muslim brothers in Europe. But some think he's showing off. They think he's being used by ISIS. Despite what we've just heard, we can't be certain if the Islamic State turned Mohammed and Wazi into Jihadi John, the braying executioner, or if that side of his personality was always there and just brought out by the war. We have spoken to several reliable sources who say Islamic State places great importance on keeping him safe, guarding him in secret. He is for them a powerful propaganda asset, encouraging other angry young men to come to Syria from Europe to become just like him. Paul Wood, BBC News, Istanbul.